P to Q. Go to P, select the top of P. This is P. So rotation, select the point. Okay, it's P to Q. And you realize that P, the north is facing east. On P, which is the north side, it's now facing east. That can only happen when you move from north to east, and north to east is 90 degrees clockwise. So this is also 90 degrees clockwise. We know our direction and the angle. Pick two points, corresponding points. We are trying to create 90 degrees somewhere here. 90 degrees somewhere here. Remember, it's going this way. So the angle should be something like this. That's one thing you need to know angle should be something like this now you check okay this line is longer than this line so it can't be this point but what about this point that gives you 90 degrees and perfectly it fits well so our center is negative 2 and 3 put in a sentence form rotation 90 degrees clockwise around the center negative 2 3 Let's do one final example on description. A to B. Three things to talk about. First is rotation. A to B. Go to A. Select the top part of A. So this is top part of A. Top part of A is facing west. North to west. North to west can only happen when you do 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So we know this is 90 degrees anti-clockwise. We are moving this way. Pick two points to form your... Okay. So moving this way, the, so the, the angle should be something like this. That's the angle. Where should this be? This point doesn't make sense because this line is shorter than this line. But what about this point? That's it. So, like I said, continuous practice will help you really spot it clearly. So, we now know that the center is 0, 0. So, we see rotation 90 degrees anticlockwise around the center, 0, 0.